Hey, a little progress update after a week of working on these SOPs and going from freelancer to agency. If you don't know who I am, my name is Alex Northrule, and I'm currently trying to move from freelance digital marketing into agency owner. My plan is to have a team of five people, a very small, extremely capable team of five people by the end of March 2025. This week's progress has been pretty good. When you start anything, you make fast progress, but you're completely scratching in the dark. And the progress that I've actually made this week is getting my ducks into a straighter line than they were before. When you work as a freelancer, or the way that I've been working as a freelancer, all the information is just in my head. And I say yes to a job, and I price the job, because I know exactly how to do it. I can estimate what problems I'm gonna come up against, and I can think, okay, to do this job, I can say this price, because I've got this relationship with the customer. As soon as you move out of yourself doing everything, that all goes out the window because actually what you've got to do is standardize the majority of the services that you offer. And instead of me just going through the entire task and thinking, okay, to build the WordPress website, I've got to do X, Y, and Z without writing anything down, just getting on with it, emailing the client saying, this is, this is what I need from you, please send it through. As soon as that comes through, then that goes up on the site. If I'm gonna hire someone, even if they're very good, I need some systems in place, which is the SOPs in the other videos in this playlist. I need those systems in place so that the website that gets produced by another person is the same standard that I would expect myself to build. So, I've done a lot of reading and watching of YouTube videos on SOPs, the best way I've found by far is to have it in the Airtable table. Airtable is just a, a database software basically and you can, you can hook that up with Zapier to lots of other programs. So I'm gonna be using Slack as the way to communicate with the team. I'm gonna be using Zapier to hook everything together. Airtable is where all of the SOPs are gonna be handled and each task that we do so WordPress website that's going to have its own table in Airtable. And when a job comes in, I'm going to be... So actually, it's useful to know the role that I'm going to be doing in the company, I'm going to be doing sales for now, and I'm going to be building SOPs. And there will be odd jobs that I fill in and website projects that I do myself. but. The actual transition now is instead of me doing the delivery, I'm going to be organizing the delivery and doing the sales. So I want to be right up, as Alex Becker says, I want to be right up where the sales are being made. And then I want to be standardizing everything else that we do underneath so that the sales come through me, it's my name on the line and all of the tasks, I filter them through to the most capable people on the team that I've built. Eventually that won't be the case, so eventually it will move purely into, well hopefully it will move purely into me just working from my phone and the team itself that I've put together is the one standardizing the processes and making the process, but I mean to think that you're going to do that from the first day is just impossible, I think. So yeah, my role will be sales and my role will be making these SOPs. I've made some good progress on the SOPs. I have the full structure of the WordPress website build. I've started making the SOP videos using Loom. so. I just do the task, then I pass that into ChatGPT, I pass the transcript in, and that gives me a step-by-step -step that then goes into the Airtable. Watch the other video on this playlist, actually. 
for how I am currently doing that. I found someone, so my younger brother, who is very efficient and he is, he's very able to stick at one thing for a long period of time. It's a great characteristic. I'm going to teach him as the first person in the company how to do these WordPress websites. So it'll be me and him. I'm going to get him doing Google ads as well. And he's the first person. So he's agreed to come on board. So we've gone now from one person to two people. So I've got the SOPs starting to be built. I found another team member and I've also found someone that wants to contact all the businesses that I've made into a list as our next set of customers. What else progress has been made this week? That's about it. You know, it takes a long time to make these SOPs. And one thing that I found is you make it one way and then as you're filling in the details and the step by steps, suddenly you realize, oh, there's actually this step or this SOP would be better fit into this section here. So we do this first and then you have to change the whole thing, which is why my SOPs that I'm building now are the smallest possible number of steps. And I try to isolate the task right down to three steps maybe. So for example, creating the website in SiteGround as the empty shell. Instead of having the entire process be log into SiteGround, create the empty website, add the new users, I'd separate that into three tasks. So I would have an SOP which says, this is how you properly log into SiteGround with the best security or how you set up. Then the next one is, how do you set up the empty website? And that's really, that's how granular I'm going so that one, it's less double work. I'm not having to rework these SOPs. If that step is correct, but this following step is wrong. I only have to change the video for the following step. And hiring, so I bought myself a new laptop. It's been about four years now since I had a new laptop. And what that meant is that the laptop that I had before, the MacBook Air, which is still perfectly good, I've now given that to my brother to use for a while. So now we have two very capable pieces of equipment we have two very capable humans and we have the beginnings of the standardized procedures. And I think that's good progress in a week. Next week, what I want to have done is the entire WordPress SOP list and videos completed so that one person that's never built a WordPress website before can come in, follow the videos, and produce, maybe not aesthetically or with the, the right copywriting, and there may be a few mistakes, but I want by the end of next week, someone with no experience to come in and be able to build the entire North Rule website stack and put that together. A bit ambitious, but I also want to have the SOPs done for the Google ads, because if that's done, and my brother is starting to learn through that method, I can really start hammering back on the sales and we can, we can start the flywheel going basically with just these two services and from there build out more. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you've got any tips on what I've just said there, please let me know in the comments. If you are enjoying this journey, subscribe and especially keep an eye on this playlist because this is where I'm uploading all of the progress videos for going from freelance to agency owner. And I'll see you on the next one. Um, each time I get a useful piece of information on this journey, I will put it on this playlist. If not, it will just be the progress videos. Thank you so much for watching.